After achieving two successive double podiums in France and Hungary, Silver Arrows are adding some new upgrades to their W13 in order to boost the car's performance and win even a single race before the end of the season. Things seem to be better for the team. However, recent reports are talking about some internal issues inside the Mercedes garage. Issues that might even with the car improvements stop the team's progress in the second half of the season. What could these new problems inside Silver Arrow's home reports are talking about? Stick around to know more about this. But before that, if you're not already a member of Formula Zoom family, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. You'll be receiving all the newest Formula One news and updates. If you're new to the Formula One world, check our channel's video package. All what you need to know is available there. Tell us in the comment section what kind of content you would like to watch on our channel during the summer break. So after the technical struggle, here comes the personal one. Reports recently talk about problems between the Brackley squad drivers. News describe these problems of growing tension between between the two Brightons, George Russell and Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's new teammate, the British young talent, finished a very successful first half of the season. George Russell showed a very strong performance on track since the beginning and had been really consistent knowing how to manage his W13 with all its early defaults. Russell had been praised by his team boss in different occasions. Toto Wolff complimented the 24 years old, saying that he's a champion in a make. Wolff added that he with the team's as manager wouldn't take the decision to bring Russell to the team if they didn't see a champion inside the young driver. Wolff was very satisfied with the performance Russell showed at the Hungarian Grand Prix and described Russell's first ball position in Budapest as a very special moment that they will be remembering. Mercedes boss said that this will be the start of a champion career. George is a champion in the making. He was a champion in all the junior categories, in Formula 2 and Formula 3 as a rookie, and we would never put him in Mercedes if he didn't believe that he could be a future champion. It is his first pole position, and that will always be something special for him and for us, because it is a moment to remember. Today is another milestone of the many he's going to achieve. George Russell, the 24 years old from Norfolk, became the fifth British driver after David Coulthard, Jason Button, his current teammate Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris to take a pole position this century after defeating Ferrari's Carlos Sainz by just 0.044 seconds. Many Formula 1 analysts have previously commented on this wondering how could the seven times world champion and the young champion in make, how could they coexist in the same team and manage their relationship without any problems. Toto Wolff, Mercedes team principal, mentioned that his worry of the raising tension between Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. However, he finds this natural when the team gets to that stage of the competition with two talented drivers. Wolf changed the subject perspective talking to Motorsport.com, saying the W13 was his driver's main opponent this season. I think the biggest opponent for George and Lewis was the car, not the teammate or other drivers, and that was certainly advantageous in some respects. Toto Wolf added the causes technical issues they experienced during the first half of the season made the whole team work hard together to come up with a solution, thing that raised the team's spirit and strengthened the relationship between its member. They used different solutions and setups even a lot on some occasions, with the aim of exchanging impressions to come out of the situation we experienced. About the tension between the two Brightons, Walsh stated that the respect is all what matters when it comes to the relationship between team drivers. When there is respect, things will never develop to another level. When playing for the highest stakes, I think it's natural to have some tension, but if people fundamentally respect and esteem each other, then it will never go too far. However, Mercedes boss admitted that when it comes to a competition where the championship is the goal, he understands the kind of tension that could exist between talented and ambitious drivers. When the objective become races and championships, I will be able to tell you whether the respect I see today between the two will prove to be a predominant factor. From another side, and reflecting on his team's progress, Russell is actually happy with the result his team is scoring and having been impressed by the continuing upgrade his team is adding to fix the W13 flaws. He believes if they could get in range of the Ferrari and Red Bull pace, then they will be able to fight for regular podiums and possibly wins. As a team, we finished almost a minute behind the race winner at the start of the season, but now it is 10 seconds in the last couple of races. So if we can continue on that path, we will definitely be in the hunt. I think we as a team have a lot of confidence in ourselves and faith that we are doing a great job. About the Formula 1 14th round coming after the break in Belgium, Russell confirmed his team new car upgrades coming and said that there will be no reason to stop them from getting great results. Spa is going to be interesting. There is going to be some changes to some regulation which may bring other teams toward us. And I think we as a team have a lot of confidence in ourselves and faith that we are doing a great job. There is no reason we can't be in the mix. 
In case you missed Mercedes car updates news, check our channel's video about it. Russell commented also on changes to the regulation for the 2023 as well as the technical directive on purposing, which will come starting from the Belgian Grand Prix, saying that he believes this would be a huge opportunity for his team to move closer to rivals Ferrari and Red Bull. Ferrari and Red Bull have pushed the boundaries of the regulations. That is much clear. We have respected the spirit of the regulations. Of course, you still have no guarantee that this will bring you closer to them, but we do know that our cars will be slower if we had to apply this. The FIA had previously confirmed that they are to monitor the stiffness of the planks under the cars after some reports talk about teams accused of having a flexi floors. As known, FIA rules state the wooden plank placed along the bottom of the car must have a limit of 2 mm of flexibility. However, there was suspicions some team used a tricky gray area allowing them to raise the limit to 6 mm of flexibility. Starting from the next race in Belgium, the Formula 1 governing body will be introducing new measures alongside rules to combat porpoising in order to rule the rest of the competitions in transparency as mentioned in the last official statement. The FI have consulted extensively with the teams and have come to a final position as follows. From the Belgian Grand Prix, the FI will measure the phenomena and expect teams to operate below a certain threshold in order for their car to be considered safe. In addition, the following measures are approved for 2022 and 2023. For 2022, central floor flexibility changes to redefine the stiffness requirements of plank and skids around the thickness measurement holes. For 2023, the floor edges will be raised by 15 mm, the diffuser throat height will be raised, while care has been taken to avoid any impact on teams' designs of the mechanical components. The diffuser edge stiffness will be increased, and additional sensor will be mandated to monitor the phenomena more effectively. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, drop a like down there and consider subscribing if you like our channel content. Mercedes team principal took the opportunity to clarify the recent rumors talking about Mercedes replacing Hamilton with Red Bull's second driver, Sergio Perez. Toto Wolff strongly confirmed that despite Hamilton's weak beginning for historical driver, the team never thought of replacing him with Sergio Perez. Some Formula 1 analysts suggested Sergio Perez, the 32 Mexican driver, as a substitutional for Lewis who had been frustrated along the first part of the season, struggling to correctly run his car, got to the brick with only 146 six points, putting him in the sixth place while Perez is third with 173 points. Wolf totally excluded this and confirmed that Hamilton will be present with Silver Arrows during the coming season and it might go to even 10 years. He confirmed that he, with the team's manager, will never think of replacing the seven-time world champion, especially with Perez. I never called Sergio, he's a good guy and I respect him, but I never talked to him and I was not in contact with any other driver. Lewis and I, even in the face of not so encouraging scenario like the beginning of the season, we are always aligned in wanting to try make things better and to be together next year. And we've been telling each other for a couple months that we could go on, maybe 5 or 10 years, right? So none of that is true. Even that he was so realistic during his last statement, Toto Wolff looked confident, saying that they went through this as a team and they will manage to finish it together as a team. Wolff added to SkySport.com that his team is moving forward and closing the gap with the front teams, which will push them to work hard in order to bring something into the second part of the season. The other guys have an edge, but we're clearly closing the gap. Hopefully, we can bring some more into the second half of the season and start fighting with them. As Mercedes fan, what is your opinion about all this? Leave us a comment down below and invite your friends and Formula 1 fans around you to watch this video. If you're looking for good Formula 1 content, consider subscribing to our channel. We do our best to provide you with the newest news and updates. That was all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.